Now, the music in this game gets a little bit too repetitive sometimes. Hopefully, they will add more content in the future. We have come here <clears throat> for a reason. In these caverns lies an artifact of untold power buried in the tomb of King Aradesh. It will show us the way to the surface. Build us a base and a suitable army. We have much to explore. Mm, Alright. So in uh, Game Slayer there was playing Invert Verbis Virtus. I'm not sure if you actually saw the notification there. That's actually a game I might try someday. Anyways, we're gonna build a Hive, Barracks, Hunter, Group, and Legionnaire. Alright, so these are the basic units there. Start with the Hive. I'm gonna try to place this Hive in the center, like right between this food stockpile here, this food source, the fish, and these guys. Actually, the fish is far more important. Let's just ignore the other stuff. We're gonna build a hive. Can we build in the water? Yes, we can build in the water, which is awesome. Let's go for that. And hey, we have a turtle right next door. Yeah, this guy's gonna be our first victim, unfortunately. Yep. You, sir, are bound for the, <laughs> for the granary or the stockpile or whatever it is. You're gonna become food for the hive. That's actually a pretty tough looking turtle, I must say. <clears throat> now, in my previous playthrough, I actually tried to kill one of these guys, try to capture him or something, but yeah, these fish, they, as far as I can tell, they cannot be killed, they cannot be interacted with. They're just part of the background scenery. They still look kind of cute, I suppose. But yeah, the hive is badass, look at this. I assume these are like tentacles or something. And it's gonna be your job to kill this turtle. How much food does it take to build a... Uh, oh, only 10 resources, okay. Nevertheless, we're gonna wait until the next worker is out. There goes the little bucket guy. The wheelbarrow, that look, he's very going very fast. Yeah, his animation is kind of weird. He's supposed to be going back and forth from these areas. Why is he going back there? Very unusual. Spawn worker. Spawn worker. I'm actually going to spawn three workers this time around, just to get the food economy going a little bit faster. Because the buildings, they can be built relatively fast, we don't have to worry too much about them. You know what, let's just build one. I'll just go ahead and build the barracks. I'm going to try and make it a little bit closer to the action here, down there, there we go. Anyways, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and explore and see if there are any resources we can collect by clicking on them. Like this one here, see that? Apparently, you don't even have to fight the guardians, you can just click on this thing. And there we go, instant resource. We just gained plus one. Well, I was expecting a little bit more. Nevertheless, that should do us for now. <clears throat> okay. You will be going on food gathering duty, there we go. Gonna have to find one more turtle. Oh, there's another fish stockpile. Good. Actually, we need some more minerals. We can't build anything until we actually have that. So let's do this. In the meantime, we're gonna build one legionnaire, one hunter. Yeah, look at all these bucket guys go. This is a perfect space. We're gonna have some tons of food in no time. Well, actually, the bucket guys are actually quite fast. These are the ones, yeah. It's the the standard workers who are not pulling the fish out fast enough. That's what's happening. <laughs> the, the bucket guys are very fast. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead and gather the minerals. I'm pretty sure I told him to gather minerals. Why is he? Yeah, it's a bit unresponsive. Maybe it's because of the lag and the like of the frame rate drops or something like that. Yeah, that's probably the case. Go our first legionnaire. I assume this is a uh, some kind of ritual is going to happen here. Yeah, this is a ritual circle, quite obviously. 
entrance to the tomb has collapsed. Someone wanted this place forgotten. Clear the debris, and we may enter. All right, this looks like another uh, situation where we will use the environmental destruction feature of this game. We're actually going to use a worker to destroy this area. There we go, this guy's actually free. Your job's going to be to clear the debris. So I click on the debris. It will highlight, but it doesn't show... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think this is a much better camera angle. So what happened? Oh, there we go. Well, that was an ugly transition. This place have left guardians and traps behind. Tread carefully. Check this out. This uh, reminds me of Skyrim. <laughs> these, uh, the draggers, these mummies. Uh, all right. We can use one more worker. In fact, two more should be nice. A bit more hunters. I would like to go after some more minerals, I suppose, and see if there are more mineral deposits around here. Actually, I don't think we need them, we're just gonna build the... Okay, actually, I'm gonna try to use the minimap and see if there are any mineral deposits. The minimap does not display them. Well, there's this one here. It's displaying... yeah, the yellow spots apparently are resource deposits, like this one there. So what are these? Oh, these are turtles. Okay. So the turtles are also considered resource deposits. Any more? Well, there's more turtles down here, I assume. Yeah, these are... Yeah, behind this really weird interface situation going on. Just gonna have to rotate. If only the rotation was a little bit faster. This is kind of frustrating or kind of tedious. Alright, we can click on this, I assume. Okay. Now, this turtle looks quite large. I assume he's a much bigger source of food than the others. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like we don't have a lot of mineral deposits there. We're gonna have to rely on gathered treasure instead. Which means we can't build too much. We'll just go ahead and build, gather some food. You guys are gonna come with me. Another feature of the R other RTS games is that if you click twice on any unit, it will select all the others. But here, there is no way to actually mass select other than dragging. Again, that's another thing that should des desperately or definitely add in the future. You guys are going to be control group one, you guys are going to be control group two. There we go. Everyone should be gathering food. And it's time to build the queen, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to move out until we actually build the queen. But in the meantime, we might actually kill a couple of these guys. Yeah, we have some... Uh, we're supposed there are some enemies. There we are. You guys are so dead. I can actually go off screen and don't... Yeah. I don't care. They can. My soldiers can take care of it. Or oh, we can actually hear them from here. Okay. Oh, so the, the... This guy was actually attacking us from a distance, but... He, yeah, but he did not aggro my troops, so again, the auto-attack should be an important feature. Oh, there we go, there's a mineral deposit. But there is no indication for it on the map. You can't see it on the map that there's an actual mineral deposit. And here it looks like there's a... Yeah, this is an, a destructible field, a destructible wall. I think... Uh, last time I played, there was another mineral deposit in there somewhere. Yeah, actually, you can... And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it can be highlighted slightly there. You see these green dots. Anyway, it's somewhere inside there. I don't really have the patience to go after it. I don't think we need that many, that much gold this mission. I think this should be enough. Uh, 10 resources for that, 15 for that. Yeah, this should just be enough for a hive, another hive. I'm gonna try to increase our population. Not that we, I mean, we don't need to, but hey. Hopefully the bug of not that which does not allow us to build more than 15 units will actually be resolved at this point. So I'll just give it a try. And we're gonna go ahead and build a queen. Another one of these. Hmm. Well, it looks like the bug is still there, actually. 
Well, it depends on what happens after we build this legionnaire. Okay, we can still build more. So apparently there's an enemy down here somewhere there. Oh, there we go. Nothing to collect, there are no treasures, no food, very well. We'll just make our way forward through the mission. Well, there are these guys. Do I really want to kill these guys? I don't really care. I don't think there's anything we can get from them. I mean, theoretically, in the mission, uh, hopefully, maybe in the campaign, that yeah, if you kill them, this chest is supposed to open. Oh, there we go. It actually opened. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that's it? Uh, can the workers, like, use it or something? Not that I can tell. Okay. Well, there's a chest, apparently, and it can open, but nothing comes out. I don't know what that's about, but I suppose we should have to kill these guys first. So yeah, let's go ahead and kill them. So where exactly are my troops? Oh, there we are. We're going to control these guys into the group. There we are. Oh, we can build more. Good. Oh, there we go. Again, once again, we have hit the maximum of 15, despite the fact that we have 23 available to us. Hopefully this will get resolved in the future. Let's see our workers. Yeah, this worker is actually f done. Uh, we have to find another turtle, I suppose. Let's go for this one. Actually, that one is a bit too far. Whoa, the queen is actually faster than everyone else, apparently. She made it there. I'm a little bit... I feel kind of bad for the queen. Uh, she took a little bit more damage than she's supposed to. Anyway. So, uh, apparently this chest opens, but nothing comes out. And it just closes back. Okay. Uh, pr probably an incomplete feature. We might get, come back here and check it in the future, I suppose. Anyways. Uh, what we're going to do now is... Oh, where's the worker? Oh, really? I just... Did I change the control group somehow? Oh, come on. So somewhere down there is a worker of mine. Oh, fine. You can... You can join us. Alright, let's dive headfirst into the catacombs. I have to change the camera angle because this is a bit awkward. Alright, there's a bunch of guardians inside. A couple of crab creatures. So these are smaller crab creatures. They have the exact same unit model as the, the the big guy we fought earlier. Oh, this guy took a little bit of damage, fortunately. Alright, guys, go ahead and kill those archers. Queen is taking more damage than I thought. Was the worker killed, actually? Whoa. Oh, there he is. So, as I was saying, these uh, crab guys, they're pretty much the same unit model as the ancient, but they're just smaller. So, yeah, they're, they're recycling models, uh, unit models a little bit too much. Uh, I was expecting a s other des another design or something. So, what do we have here? Can you guys go up? Alright, so apparently the uh, sparkling areas, these indicate uh, quest-related items. So if we click on this, there we go. The story will advance. Here lies King Aradesh. May the horrors of the past not be forgotten. That's it, King Aradesh was a badass, apparently. We must not forget about his ancient badassery. What about this guy? It appears the fallen king found an object of great power. By using it, he conquered the other species. 
sees. In the end, his own followers buried him alive to end his reign of madness and to seal the artifact for good. I kind of like the backstory. It really suits the atmosphere of the game very well. It's like you're an, you're an alien. It feels like you are an alien archaeologist trying to discover the secrets of the past. Now here's the thing. If these guys die, because you can see here their health is actually just starting to drop. If they die, can we build more? Because last time I was unable to actually build more. And here's another weird thing. I select my army. The dead guys are still highlighted. So what does that mean? Maybe I should send them back to heal or something? Ah, forget it. Let's just... Uh, we're gonna power through. Who cares? So I just clicked on this statue. This statue represents the guardian of the underworld, Darathul. It seems to be missing something. I can hear the relics whispers. In the dark and the break in the Well, what a coincidence. I can hear the relics too. We must be hallucinating. Hmm. Whoa. No more lives need to be lost. Solve the puzzle and the traps will deactivate. Oh yeah, I remember the I remember this part. So okay, this guy, he is clearly missing a tusk and a gem in his eye. Yeah. I think I understand why this game has a rotation mechanic like that, which is a very central part of it. Uh, it's because this will allow us to actually view things from all sides and yeah, solve the puzzles, hopefully. But this puzzle in particular, okay, where's the worker? We're going to use the worker for this one. He's, he's a unit that uh, we don't really need, can be sacrificed. And there's the old poor old worker who's was uh, killed in the cutscene. <laughs> He didn't even get a chance to actually be useful, he just died with a cutscene. Anyway, this area. Now this is supposed to be a puzzle, I assume it's one of those, uh, I'm not sure if you guys played Dr. Brain thinking games, it's one of those old puzzle games uh, from the 90s. Uh, yeah, as, there's supposed to be a pattern in the tiles, but seriously, just look at this, can you see a pattern? I played this before, I still have no idea, it's the exact same puzzle, it did not change at all from the, my previous playthrough. I, I still can't see the pattern. Each one of those symbols, they look completely different. They have nothing in common. Not even the ones that are actually close to each other. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to trigger them and see which one does not have a spike trap. Oh, there we go. This one has a spike trap, so I'm not gonna... I'm actually not gonna step on that one. Yeah, as far as I can tell, this is the only way to solve this puzzle. There we go. There's another one. I think this was the one that was safe. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, it was safe. There we are. So yeah, seriously, just look at these. Is, do they have anything in common? Is there anything that sets them, sets them apart in a pattern from all the others? As far as I can tell, there is no difference. So what the hell's going on? Alright, here's the second one. Okay, I took a bit of a risk there, but it actually paid off. What do we do next? Okay, I think there's another one here. Okay, we're gonna try and inch our way slowly. There we are. Well, maybe there's one more, I assume? They're supposed to disappear, and this door is supposed to open, I think. Is that it? Oh, we narrowly escaped there. I think this is the one. What the hell? Well, that's odd. There's supposed to be one more, I think, and after that, they will disappear. These circles will disappear and the door will open. Or maybe it's already open? Am I gonna have to actually move my units in one by one? Okay, let's try this one. Ouch. We took a bit of damage there. That was a huge chunk of damage. I'm just 
gonna step on the stairs. Hopefully this will trigger the puzzle. All right, the puzzle is, it's not going anywhere. It's not going away anytime soon. Seriously, what's going on? Maybe there's another bunch of tiles we have to trigger? Oh yeah, let's try these. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have no idea what this puzzle means, but... Oh, seriously, what the hell is this? Can we at least get a hint or something? And I previously tried to click on the environment, just, you know, click on random places and see if there's any hint that could be triggered. Well, like maybe these... Yeah, I pretty much clicked on everything and nothing happened. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. I should have checked these guys out first. Yeah. Maybe these inscriptions tell us something? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we should have paid more attention, I guess. <laughs> but, but, but still, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, this one is this. This one is that. They don't look very... Sp okay, they kind of look similar, I guess. Hmm. Well, let's uh, try and check the, uh, the other one, then. Hmm. I'm just trying to compare them, I guess. Maybe there's another one on the other side? Let's see. Nope, these are the only two. Yeah, so that's how, it's, that's how it works. Anyways, uh, as you can see, my cheesy approach of just carefully triggering them one by one and avoiding the ones that are clearly trapped is actually working. Crap, this one didn't actually work. Oh, dear. We're gonna have to use another unit, I suppose. I did not want to do this, but we're gonna have to. I wonder if there's another worker somewhere. So, our population dropped. I think it means we can actually use another worker at this point. Which I'm gonna do right away. Congratulations, you're gonna be our second sacrifice. Oh, there we go. We can actually spawn a replacement. Alright, little guy. Your job's gonna be to disarm the traps. Oh, he's gonna take too long to arrive, I'm afraid. So, we're gonna have to use someone else. Definitely not the Hunters, I'm actually going to use the Legionnaires instead. Alright, don't trigger the traps, guys. I mean, there's a bit too many of you, which is why the, the Worker's actually ideal for this. Uh, okay, that one was clearly trapped. I'm going to use this one instead. Crap. Alright, the, the Worker's arrived. There we go. So, how do, how do I solve this? It looks like we have to go to the other side and trigger them from there. From, because all these three are blocked, as far as I can tell. So maybe it's something on this side. Come on, get triggered. Oh. There we are, finally. And ransack we will. We're like the alien version of Indiana Jones. We got a little Indiana Jones situation going. Would have been nice to actually heal those guys. Them. Yeah, I should have. I totally should have sent them back to the home and get them healed up. Hey, doesn't matter now. So yeah, you see that pattern here. It was these three. But this particular symbol, it's it's nowhere to be found here. It's not there. Actually, it is. Oh my god, it actually is. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, s four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, actually, yes, there we are. Apparently, the symbols, they do correspond. All right, I, I, I cracked the code, you guys. I cracked the code. I gotta admit, I'm not very good at these puzzle games. I usually take quite a long time to actually solve them. So, yeah, apparently, this is the code. It's right here. Yeah, so from now on, we're going to have to pay more attention to the environmental clues and all this. But you got to admit, my our, we, we did manage to cheese our way through that puzzle. Just fine. That is what I call the, the brute force approach. We're going to have to rotate just to witness that battle. There we are. Somebody just leveled up. I 
I have no idea whether our frame rate drops in this game right now. It's just not good for me. Maybe it's. I would like to say that it's not because of my laptop. I mean, I'm playing on a laptop, but I mean, what kind of system do I have to get? Uh, this is a pretty strong system. I can play Civ 5 and uh, uh, Skyrim and Guild Wars 2, all kinds of games that require a strong system. I mean, I'm playing on an i7. On i7 into yeah, it's an i7 laptop, so it should be pretty strong. But for some reason, I am I'm having rate frame rate drops in this game in particular. So we just collected the treasures there. Well, the treasures that we can actually click on, but all the others are unselectable as far as I can tell. So it's a pity. This all this gold is going to waste, fortunately, because bugs don't need it. Oh, let's make our way back. Now there's a the tusk thing here. I can hear an ancient machinery grinding. The statue still seems to be missing something. Well, if it isn't obvious by now, clearly the tusk is missing. So where am I gonna supposed to find that thing? Maybe it's here? I'm having some tr trouble controlling the cameras here. All right. Uh, okay. Use workers to search the nearby sand piles for the missing parts. Okay. Sand piles. Sand piles. Let's see. Where are those sand piles? So is this a sand pile? An icon would be nice, like some kind of indicator that this is the actual sand pile. All right. Well, anything? Nothing. They just disappear. Yeah, that was kind of lame. I was expecting some kind of, you know, I, I don't know. I just, it just feels underwhelming for some reason. So there's another science pile there. Go ahead and search it. There has to be another worker down here somewhere. Uh... Yeah, I, when I first played this game, I thought that this is the sand pile, but no, it's not. It's apparently a, a quest triggered. Yeah, the quest will trigger these... Uh, yeah, the sand piles that will actually appear as a result of the quest itself. So, yeah. Yeah, that certainly wasn't the place where the sand... Yeah, but I'm just gonna try this one. So there's no sand pile there. What about this? Yes, take your time, little guy. Should probably use the other workers instead. Yeah, these guys are not busy. You go ahead and search that. You go ahead and search this. Oh yeah, we have another pile there. You. Because we don't need any more food. At this point, the game will not allow me to build any more stuff. And we're not actually losing troops. So it should be fine. Any more sand piles? Nope. No sand piles here. Oh, there we go. There's the tusk. Click on it. Now we have it. The way to the final chamber lays open. Claim the relic that belongs to us. And we shall. We shall claim it indeed. Yeah, I suppose the undead will rise to fight us. That is usually what happens in other games I've played. When you see a bunch of skeletons in an ominously empty chamber, it usually indicates that something is going to wake up and kick our ass. Which means it's time to move the queen back. Yeah, you just keep supporting them from behind. I have no idea what the queen is doing, but she's kind of useful, I suppose. Let's see if there are any treasures we can click on, try to collect them. Nope, no treasures. Well, there's a treasure box there. Empty. It's, it mocks us with its emptiness. Alright, it's time to click on this thing. Oh boy. Holy crap, okay. Cursed to undeath, buried and forgotten by my own people, I shall show you the true meaning of fear. Rolling 
what? Me from this prison. But this is kind of lame, so my creatures decide to attack this guy in the middle of a cutscene, and they took a bit of damage there. Anyways, this guy should be easy to kill. What is he? Game freeze? Okay, thank god. I, I thought the game just froze for a moment. Alright, let's see what this ritual does. Alright, all looks like a defensive mission. Uh, we're gonna have to make it all the way back. Come on, guys, run, run, run. Before we get attacked. Do we have anyone, any, just anyone who can actually defend? Okay, these guys probably should be able to defend until the others arrive. Yeah, you guys are, you guys have been conscripted. Congratulations. Welcome to the army. I hope the bucket guys don't get attacked. I mean, they are busy def gathering stuff. And the music just got. M more awesome all of a sudden, which is nice. So who's the ranged attacker? I think it's this one. All right. Uh oh, uh oh. I think they managed to kill one of my workers, which is not good. Yep, they killed one of my workers, indeed. Slaughter this guy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this work to actually build another hive. Yeah, there we go. This will heal our troops, make the defense a little bit easier. Much better. Yeah, because apparently my workers are too fragile. We need to make sure that all these guys survive. We're gonna kill the melee guy first. Yeah, there really is no strategy. It's just uh, whoever, whichever side has the more larger army, pretty much wins all the time. Yeah, it's, uh, usually that's how campaigns work. Anyway, I'm not complaining. Just saying. All right, this uh, the tenth mission is gonna take only three minutes. So yeah, they heal quite fast, which is nice, very convenient. So where's the other guys? As far as I can tell, they're all coming from the same side. Oh, there we are. They're not even trying to attack the other buildings, they're just going straight for my hive. Or the artifact, rather. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear me or the music is too loud. I mean. Yeah, it's too bad that uh, there's no option for me to actually lower the music from within the game. I had to lower the the volume from the mixer. You know, I'm actually going to try to lower it even more. Okay, so I lowered it even more than it is where it was. Oh man, this mission is so slow. I mean, just c come on. Bring on the next wave. Oh, there we are. He actually gained a level. Oh my god, the queen is taking most of the damage there. 
Well, the problem is that she's faster than everyone else, which uh, <laughs> which is quite the opposite of the the brood mothers or the queens from uh, StarCraft 2. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna get some negative comments about me calling her the brood mother. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were called the hive queens. Yeah, they're the hive queens. All right, I promise. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It's a noob thing. All right, so this time the wave's a little bit bigger than usual. Yeah, the queen. I think that was the last wave. Yeah, they have no no chance in hell for them to actually destroy the artifact. Twenty seconds. So what the hell is this artifact anyway? There we can't even click on it. No tool tips, nothing to display what it actually is. And apparently, I can select these uh, ritual workers. We can even tell them to build stuff. <laughs> they, they won't respond. Such power does not come without a price. We must use this sparingly. <clears throat> the stakes of the past shall not be forgotten. Yep, you said that before. Well, I tell you what I learned. I learned just to have is to you know Zerg tactics rule. That's pretty much it. Mission completed. Let's continue and off to the wastelands. Whoop! No wastelands. All right. So we're gonna have to wait until the next update. Uh, thank you for bringing the hive. This concludes our alpha 0.04 version of the hive. Check back soon as we update the game and add more content for the community. If you enjoy playing hive, the hive or whatever, whatever. Let's please leave a review on our Steam store page. It's very important for us developers to hear if you are. If we are doing the right thing, do you have ideas or suggestions for the game? Take part in development and let us know. I might actually join the forums, but to be honest, I'm not really in the mood for joining forums. I or I already did that with, uh, you know, uh, with Endless Legend, Endless Space, and uh, it was fun. Endless Space and Endless Legend were, were great games, but and and I also did that with the uh, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic Six, which was a terrible, a terrible game. It was full of bugs, full of troubles, and very gimmicky kind of game. It was. It was just disappointing overall. Not a very good game. I think it's it's much worse than the previous Heroes of Might and Magic. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I don't really feel like joining the forums to be honest. Could go to the website actually. You know, I might do that later. For now, let's go back to the main menu. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This concludes our preview of the game, the Hive here. Uh, if you're interested, uh, it's uh, avail it's av available for nineteen dollars on Steam. And uh, like I said before, I do not recommend it at the current state. I recommend uh, waiting until more updates are available. Just uh, read a couple of reviews. Uh, right now, the reviews are not very favorable. It's uh, it's at the mostly positive level, which is like a six out of ten, seven out of ten. Actually, six out of ten is more like it because, as you can see, the frame rate situations, uh, not the option menu is not yet available. So until they add these things, and perhaps another a second playable race or a, a skirmish situation, uh, you know, skirmish mode. Yeah, uh, I would not recommend it yet. But yeah, uh, I will keep this game under my radar however I will keep update uh, every time there's an update or until they release the full the whole thing the full version I will then replay through it again I suppose so yeah uh, and in the meantime I will be playing other games I will I've uh, I will try I'll be trying Armello Armello is pretty good cool one uh, there's another game I bought recently I forgot what the name was it was called I think uh, you know hang on a minute I will actually go check and come back to you let's see it's called I think it's called uh, Space Empire. No, that's not it. Oh my god, where is it? I bought it just today, actually. Armello, Draconian Wars, Galactic Civilizations, Geneforge, The Guild, Nomoria. No. Uh, Alright, it's not appearing anywhere in my list. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually don't have it.
Oh, it's called, yeah, I just got it. It's uh, called Chaos Reborn. I will actually try it eventually. It's uh, still also an early access, but uh, looks quite interesting, I suppose. Let's see the storm page. Yes, it's indeed an early access game. Uh, currently, it's available on for fifteen dollars. Actually, I might actually give it a try next time. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be our, all for all there is for this uh, playthrough. If you guys any have, have any suggestions, any other games you want me to try, if there are any other games you want me to try, uh, leave a comment, leave a suggestion, uh, any criticisms, any ideas. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.